Today, we're gonna be working with these foam pumpkins from Dollar Tree. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I wanna thank the original Super Glue for sponsoring today's video. Now let's dive right into these 10 foam pumpkin hacks. I'm so glad Dollar Tree started carrying these all white foam pumpkins. They used to be orange with a green stem and the white makes it so much easier to craft with. So this very first project, we're going to make a beautiful fall candle holder, starting by painting our pumpkin orange. I'm using a chalk paint in the color pumpkin, which is so appropriate, and giving it a couple coats. After that, I'm using a brown acrylic paint and just rubbing that on to sort of blend it. This is going to make our pumpkin look more real than it does styrofoam. This is a large wooden hanging disc that I guess you could use as an ornament, but we're gonna use it as a base for our candle. So I cut off the top jute piece and just painted it out with that same brown paint. And now we need to put our pumpkin candle holder together. I'm gonna be using my Super Unix by the original Super Glue. You guys know I love Super Glue and especially their Super Unix. It is a max gel solution that is water resistant, shock proof, and also odorless. And that is definitely something I can appreciate. Super Unix is a strong, fast, safe, and it fixes all materials. So this is gonna work great on even foam like our pumpkins. I also really love it because the gel formula actually gives you about eight seconds to reposition your project before it starts to set up. So what I'm gonna do is actually put some of this Super Unix onto my wooden disc here and apply it to the top of my foam pumpkin. So you can see how easy it is to apply just a small bead of Super Unix to the bottom of this wooden disc. And then like I said, you have about eight seconds to reposition it and center it on your pumpkin before it starts to set up. So just press down firmly once you have it in place and it will have that super tight bond for you. And like I said, also that Super Unix is great for all materials. So you know that it is so difficult to get anything to adhere to wax. And I really wanted to dress up this pillar candle from Dollar tree with this nautical rope and super unix works great for this it just added a few dabs onto the ends of the rope and it set up perfectly such a cute cute and simple project i will make sure to have a link to super unix down in the description box below Dollar Tree has also had the most amazing florals this season. I was so impressed with. I have some of their fall leaves, their cotton stems. They even have these cute picks with pine cones on them and pretty flowers. So we're gonna make a neutral flower arrangement. But the trick here is using this mesh strainer. So what we need to do is cut out a hole in our pumpkin that is the size of the smaller part of this. And then I'm using some scissors to cut through the foam. It's really easy to do. You can use an X-Acto knife or a regular knife too. You can see in there that the pumpkin is hollow. So once I have that all cut out, we're going to paint this. I wanted again, this to be a neutral flower arrangement. So I'm using the color plaster Waverly chalk paint and just giving this one good coat and letting it dry. Now here comes our Super Unix again. We're gonna use it to apply this strainer onto the top of our pumpkin and into that hole that we cut earlier. Then I went ahead and started cutting apart all of the flowers and leaves so I would have single stems to work with. The strainer in this case is actually going to take the place of us needing any kind of foam inside the pumpkin so that we can insert those stems down into those little mesh holes and it's going to hold up our flowers and pieces for us. So I just had fun arranging all of the elements until I was happy with the look and then you have a gorgeous neutral fall arrangement that was so easy and looks beautiful. And now for this next one, I have to stop for a second and thank Jamie from The Crafty DIY Guy. I'll link his DIY channel down below. He actually was on the hunt for me and found these really great mason jar rings that have 
a chain on the top. I could not find them at my Dollar Trees. He was so gracious to find some for me and send them my way. So this is the first project I plan on using this for, but I have more projects to come. So make sure to subscribe so you can come back and see what else I make with these awesome Dollar Tree mason jar ring hangers. So I am still seeing these at Dollar Tree. They have different ones. I just couldn't find these ones specifically. So keep your eye out. You can also find these on Amazon in different places too. No worries if you can't find them at Dollar Tree. I just like to really try to keep with all Dollar Tree supplies if I can. So thanks again to Jamie for sending these over. What I'm doing here is just tracing around the lid so that I can then cut out the same size hole in the top of the pumpkin. And then for the fun part, we're gonna be melting some holes into our pumpkin using your hot glue gun. So what I'm doing is just pressing that tip right down into the styrofoam. It melts right through. You just wanna make sure you have a hole that goes all the way through. So kind of twist it as you go. And then I just had fun creating a random pattern. You could take this concept and get really creative with it. Even make maybe a jack-o-lantern face or something. And once I had all of the holes melted in there, I wanted, my whole idea here was to have a gold inside so that it would reflect the tea light that I wanted to put in there next, but I didn't have the best paint. So next time I think I'll use some rub and buff for the inside. So now that I have my pumpkin painted, I'm using my super Unix around the inside edge of that hole so that once I push down that hanger to the inside, it will adhere and it won't come loose. And now here comes my little tea light from Dollar Tree. I'm just setting that right down on the inside and then you could leave it like this, but I thought it looked a little bit bare. So I added some greenery to the top of this, but get creative because I think this would be so cute, not just for fall, but for Halloween too. I love the way that this turned out. You can see the little tea light flickering through those holes. And I would love to know, let me know down in the comments below, do you decorate for fall? or for Halloween or for both. I'm having a hard time this year. Last year I just did fall decor. I think this year I really, I wanna do both. I think I wanna do Halloween and fall. So I might make some pumpkins that have some faces just like this. Now we're going to make a home sign with an old Easter Dollar Tree sign. You can find these for different holidays too, so don't think you have to find the Easter one. They actually have these for fall too. You just pick any sign about the size and then you can flip it, flip it over to the back. I removed the hanger off of it, painted it white, and then took one of my foam pumpkins, used a sharp knife and cut right down the center there because we're only gonna be using half of this for our sign. So the pumpkin is actually going to become the O in our word home. So again, just painting my pumpkin orange. You can of course paint yours whatever color works for your home decor or your theme. I love this chalk paint by Waverly. It gives it a really nice, more realistic kind of finish. And then gave it a brown stem and also sort of roughed it up a little bit too to make it look a little bit more realistic. And here I'm just kind of marking about where I wanted my pumpkin and then penciling in the other letters so I had a guide. Now you can use a Cricut machine and use vinyl for this. I'm using some black chalk paint and a flat paintbrush to just freehand this. But again, use whatever works for you. Now we're gonna come in with our Super Unix again because Super Unix works on all materials. This works for all these projects. It works so good for styrofoam because as you know, a lot of different adhesives can melt styrofoam and this product is not gonna do that. So I just put some all the way around the edges of that foam pumpkin and then pressed it down onto the front of my sign. Now I'm not sure if this next project is a DIY fail or not. So you guys will have to let me know down below in the comments. But what I did is I took these raised dot stickers from Dollar Tree and just sort of randomly placed them around the pumpkin. And then I know, like I do know that spray paint will actually eat styrofoam. So you don't wanna use a regular spray paint, but I thought I would just test the idea of using 
some chalk paint spray paint. So I don't think it ate the styrofoam so much, but it did give it a kind of weird texture that I really wasn't going for. But I don't think it turned out too bad either. So if this isn't your kind of style or look, then I would definitely go for the paintbrush and paint technique over the chalk spray paint. But you guys let me know down below if you like this or if it's just not your thing. Now this pumpkin is a take off of one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done. It is turning a Dollar Tree mop head into a gnome. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link that down below. Go check that out after this one. We're gonna use the same similar concept, except we're gonna turn a pumpkin into a gnome with the mop head this time. So we're starting with a plain pumpkin. You can leave the stem on there and our mop has a little empty spot on the bottom in the middle and we're going to connect those pieces. Now I am using some hot glue for this just because I wanted it to kind of set up quickly, but you could use Super Unix for this as well. I'm just flipping this right on top so that the plastic part that would attach to the handle is sticking up. That's gonna give us a little bit of shape for when we add the hat onto the top. So I just let the glue dry, kind of adjusted all of the mop which is going to be the beard. And this is an old scarf, fleece scarf from Dollar Tree that I cut into two triangles and then hot glued together. Sort of like if you were going to sew these and you can absolutely sew these if you want um, before flipping it inside out or right side out and then attaching that to the top of the mop using some glue. And now for the nose, I'm using a ping pong ball from Dollar Tree. I just sort of mixed some pink and some brown together, got this color and painted it, let it dry, and then using some glue again just to attach this. You want this to sort of sit down inside of the mop and also underneath the hat. So you kind of have to do this two movements at one time to get this to sort of look right. So make sure to let your glue set up really well and then you can come back in with some more glue to adjust the hat so it stays where you want it. I'm not sure what I should name this guy. I feel like every gnome needs to have a name. If you guys have ideas for me, leave those down in the comments below. I think he turned out so, so cute. They all have their own sort of personality and I love that you can change them out to have different fabrics for different holidays. Did you know you can turn pumpkins into snowmen? You sure can. So now's a great time to grab these pumpkins. You can use them for your Christmas decorating too. I also wanted to mention, in case you didn't know, that I also have a second YouTube channel called The Cozy Christmas Cottage, and it is all things Christmas. So if you love Christmas, make sure to head over there and check out all the great Christmas ideas and inspiration that I have for you. I will make sure to link that channel down in the description box below. But now let's turn this pumpkin into a snowman. You're gonna be needing three pumpkins to make this cute snowman and also some white chalk paint. You'll also want to go ahead and remove all of the stems off the top because we're gonna stack these so those you don't want in the way. Then go ahead and you can paint out all three of your pumpkins with the white chalk paint. I don't know, things got really slippery and I had a big slip up and had to go clean up and deal with that mess. But be careful because these pumpkins are slippery when they're wet. <laughs> I came back and painted about two coats on each one to have a nice chalky finish and then use some paint pens to draw in some buttons and a cute little snowman face. And now we need to build our snowman. We're coming in with our super unix again and just putting that between each pumpkin where they connect. And again, you have eight seconds to reposition these so that you can get them all centered right. Press down firmly and then they will be good and secured together. I'm also going to be using a bandana from Dollar Tree to create his scarf. I just cut a strip of this bandana out and then cut little slits in the ends so it looked more like a scarf. Now I will say I wish it was a little bit longer so next time I will use a longer piece of fabric for this um, just to make his scarf a little bit longer but it worked out and it still looked really really cute. 
And if you love snowman, definitely head over to my other channel, The Cozy Christmas Cottage. I have a video over there with 10 quick, easy, and simple snowman crafts that you can make. And I'll make sure to link that down in the description box below. Now we're gonna make a fall centerpiece and starting with these wood planks from Dollar Tree, I'm using a brown acrylic paint to paint them out completely. That is going to be our base. And then I used my Super Unix also here to butt these up together to make one longer piece of wood. So I'm making a smaller centerpiece with just three pumpkins, but if you want a longer one, obviously add to this to make it bigger. And I'm just painting these with the orange and brown paint again. And these are candles from Dollar Tree, the emergency candles with little batteries in them. And I just wrapped them in some jute to make them look a little bit more fall. And to create the centerpiece, I just lined everything up. There's some greenery in the back from Dollar Tree and the candlesticks are actually from our wedding. So a pretty little display. Now we're gonna make a pumpkin topiary. Again, you need three pumpkins for this and you're gonna wanna paint them in three different colors. So this is that pumpkin color. I also have a sort of yellow color in the color King's Gold by Apple Barrel, so acrylic paint works too. And then this is sort of a mocha color that is also a chalk paint. All three of these I got from Walmart. Once those were dry, I'm coming in with my brown acrylic paint again and just adding some texture to make them look a little bit more realistic. This is a candlestick from Dollar Tree that I am painting with some black chalk paint. This is gonna be the base of our topiary. And you can also use Super Unix for this, but for this project, I'm actually using their Total Tape. It's a little bit easier of a product to work with if you don't wanna make a mess. And it's basically a heavy duty double-sided tape and it has a mesh inside of it that makes it even more strong and durable. And you just cut it down to size like you would regular tape, but it's extra thick. And I'm applying this to the top of that candlestick. The orange actually peels off to reveal the other stickiness. So it's a clear tape. It doesn't actually look orange. It also comes in pre-cut strips depending on your project. And I'm actually using this total tape as I build this topiary, stacking the pumpkins on top of the candlestick and then applying some in between each pumpkin that I'm adding on top. you can see how quick and easy this is and how mess free this is, I will make sure to link both Super Unix and Total Tape down in the description box below so you can add this to your crafting arsenal too. I use this stuff all the time and definitely keep it handy. And I thought I'd do something a little bit different for the top of this pumpkin and add a tree branch that was sort of just laying out in my yard. I'm just breaking this apart and sticking it right down into the top of that styrofoam. Now this is a fun way to make another neutral style pumpkin for your decor. We're gonna take off the stem from this one too and paint it out with white chalk paint. This one, we're gonna use a unique item, it is a baby wipe, and we're going to apply 
our brown paint with the baby wipe. It sort of makes it a little bit more translucent and also gives you the ability to smear it around and it's not just a dark color that you paint on. You're kind of just using it like a wax or a giving it this faux technique. So I went around the entire pumpkin and you can see how pretty it is. Make sure to get down in those grooves and make those a little bit darker. That'll give it more definition. I found this cute sign with knobs on it at the Hobby Lobby 75% off sale and I thought the little knobs on it would be the cutest little stems for these pumpkins. So I'm using some regular super glue here. You can get this at Dollar Tree. Yes, you can even get super glue at Dollar Tree and added that to the top of my pumpkin. I'm also winding some wire from Dollar Tree around a paintbrush handle to kind of make some curly cues that I thought would be cute to kind of add around that knob and give it a little bit of an accessory. You can skip this step if you want. I'm adding some metallic little leaves that I cut with some vinyl. Um, on my Cricut machine, I'm just adding those all the way around this pumpkin. It just sort of added an extra little touch of metallic shine to it and fall touch, and I just really like the way this haul turned out. Such a cute little rustic pumpkin for your decor. Make sure to check the description box for the links that I mentioned throughout this video and let me know down in the comments which one of these projects was your favorite. I have more videos popping up on your screen that you'll wanna check out next and I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting.